Hello everyone. This is our first video which we are releasing to just make you aware of different steps which we will be following through this project. First of all, we would like to thank each one of you for supporting us and for participating in this project. And we would like to welcome you in this journey on blueprinting through this project. Uh, I would like to tell you that this project on blueprint printing was taken up first in 2017 by Dr. Yogesh as his famous project and he completed it in 2019. It was done for the previous curriculum. In 2019, the curriculum gets got changed and um, uh, we decided to again uh, uh, prepare blueprint for the newer curriculum and uh, we started this project for that purpose. And since then, we have also simultaneously implemented this in our department. And we are following this since last four years. All of us are involved in paper setting since years. And we are taking due care, looking at the overlap, the structuring of the questions, uh, whether the content validity is achieved or not. We are doing all this since years, but it is all mental work. So through this blueprint, we will have a structured and organized system which will streamline our assessment system as well as which will make our paper more valid and more reliable. So since last four years, we have implemented in our institute and we have observed that because of the system, because of the because the distribution is ready now, uh, the quality of the question paper has grossly improved. Besides that, it has also it is also saving our time as well as uh, it, the task has become easy now since the framework is ready the faculty feels it easy to just fill in the blanks or just they know which uh, on which topic what question is to be framed so it, the task is, has become easy it is saving time and the quality of the question paper has improved now why why blueprinting and why this project it's been observed that we tend to ask our favorite questions or teachers tend to ask more questions on the topic which they have taught. And this leads to, you know, missing some important topics sometimes or sometimes not covering the complete scope of the assessment. Sometimes we also frame such questions which are too lengthy and the time becomes inadequate for writing the answers. And this all happens because of the lack of pre-validation by peer reviewers. This we all are observing since years. And to uh, take care of this, we felt that we should start with this uh, project blue, on blueprinting. And we should also extend it to the faculty of other medical colleges so that the whole process of uh, assessment will be streamlined. Uh, if you see the last year's uh, university paper, you will find that uh, more questions were asked. Most of the paper was clinical application based. Or some teacher tend to ask most paper on basic uh, concepts like uh, chemistry part. So this, these things can be avoided by using the structured format uh, in the form of blueprint. Looking at the advantages of blueprinting and its utility, uh, we thought of spreading a word to other faculty members belonging to other institutes and we took this project and we felt like sensitizing other faculty so that the teacher will get equipped with concrete comprehensive and clear design which will be addressing all the dimension and this blueprint will serve as a reference framework for the question paper set learning is linked to assessment better assessment leads to better learning we can say assessment drives learning. So if the assessment process is streamlined, it will lead to better learning. And this is the very purpose of this curriculum. And it will fulfill the ultimate goal of an undergraduate CBME program. So the aim of the study is to make assessment congruent with the objectives, content areas in the curriculum, so as to improve content validity of the assessment. So we have three objectives. The first one is faculty development. 
where we will be sensitizing the faculty members about the utility of the test blueprints in assessment. The second objective is preparation of the blueprints where you all will be involved in preparing your own blueprints for the written examination for paper one as well as for paper two. And the third objective is assessing the usefulness of this blueprint. And this is to determine the effect of test blueprints as a tool on the content validity of assessment. Uh, there are total five steps in this project. Step one is setting up theory test paper for summative assessment without blueprint. We have given the task to you. We have divided you into two groups of 15 each and each one of you are given to set a set one paper either on paper one or on paper two and we are still receiving the papers from you. So our, this is step one. Once we receive these papers, we will move ahead with step two, wherein we will have a faculty de development program. We will sensitize the faculty about blueprinting. We will release a separate video for that. Thereafter, step three will be preparation of the blueprint. After sensitization of the faculty, you yourself will be preparing a blueprint for the question paper. And based on that blueprint, and prescribed weightage as per that blueprint, you will set up a test paper or a question paper. Next step is the validation of the question paper on the blueprint. Now, this is the role of experts. We have defined the experts, identified the experts amongst us. We have senior five members who will be the experts for this. And they will be validating the question paper which you have set. But here the blinding will be there. So experts won't be knowing who has said this question paper. And this uh, validation will be a objective one, which will be based on checklist. So blinding and using the checklist, these two things will make it more objective. And lastly, we will have, we will evaluate it uh, based on the feedback questionnaire. We will be giving you a feedback questionnaire for the evaluation of the whole project. And we will receive your uh, responses on this and we will evaluate it. Through this project, we feel that faculty from other institutes should not only get sensitized, but also should be able to actualize this in their own departments. Uh, so we actually want you to implement it. So it is not just for the sake of doing, it is for actual implementation. So once after finishing this project, we will be sharing the results with you. And at that time, you will, I'm, assure, I'm sure that you will be able to appreciate the significance and you will definitely get motivated to implement in your uh, department. Discipline makes the things easy and organized in all aspects of the life. So instead of having a mental map, we should always try to note down the points or jot down the points which we want to bring into our life. So, as I said, discipline is for every aspect of life. So is true for assessment. So, let's try to follow it religiously. So, once again, I thank you all for all your support and I hope the same in future. Thank you.